Kia Lara here, uh, Scrappy Kia, and I'm going to be joining in on the hop today to celebrate JQ Crafty's 1000 subscribers. Now go and check her channel out, it's linked below. She's got a giveaway today for her um, subby hop as well. This is the layout I'm going to be scrap lifting. I loved the little circles and the stitching. Um, and I sort of went through my papers and decided that I'm going to work with the Sawyer collection by Close to My Heart um, to both scrap lift this layout and also convert it from the, um, the size that Jackie used into a 12 by 12 layout. So she was doing, um, I think, Heidi Swap storyline chapters size. So um, I am just converting this to be a 12 by 12. So I have gone with sort of her photo matting um, paper sizes that she used. I have gone away from the stripes down the side because as I was looking through the papers, I found this piece which sort of um, reflected uh, the half circles that are stitched onto Jackie's original page. So I'm going to use this um, sort of banner piece as my background and I've just got some white daisy cardstock that I'm trimming down to about seven inches. Um, it, I did it so that it was going to be wide enough for the photo with a little bit down each side um, and I think I ended up making it seven and a half, just that little bit bigger. Uh, and I'm going to tear down the sides as Jackie had done in her original layout as well. So both sides there, no real... Um, pattern to this other than um, you can see that I'm sort of holding it down so I'm not tearing it too deeply in here and I'm just roughing up those edges just a little bit more uh, and sticking those, I'm going to stick that down. So the photo there I'm just using to think about placement, I'm going to work out how many uh, rows of the little um, part circles I'm going to use and as I was um, gluing this on I thought hang on I should have um, just stitched the circles on separately before I did that but never mind um, I gave my new sewing machine a go and um, it worked so I've just cut out three of the Sawyer papers and I've cut out a two inch strip and I'm just uh, randomly cutting out these half circles I did have a look around in my um, pile of stuff for my circle punch uh, and then wondered about some thin cuts um, but just decided just to wig it um, with these half circle shapes. So I've just used three different papers from the Sawyer collection and um, that'll help just keep all the tones nice as I stick it down. So having a play around with how these could look, turning them around so that there's um, not going to be too much of one pattern over another. So for example, that uh, light blue that I've put up the top left there is quite a prominent piece behind the photo. So I didn't want too much of that um, coming out on the circles. So liking how these look, the photos fit nicely in there uh, and then I realised that I'm going to have to take them off and do them in rows to do the stitching. But I've sort of got a visual, you know, know what it's going to look like and how it's going to work out. So I'm going to have to start with the bottom ones uh, when I stitch them on and then stitch the next row above. So I'm just going to move those out of the way after making sure it's all going to fit nicely on the page. So I'm going to go off camera and stitch those. So now I've stitched them all on. Um, I have, because I've got a bigger photo um, and things like that, I've got less rows of those scalloped circles and my scallop, and not scallops, my half circles and mine might be a little bit bigger um, than Jackie's were as well. Excuse the truck driving past if you can hear that through the video recording. So I'm just wrinkling up the edges of my papers. I don't really like them sitting flat. Um, despite having a lot of texture with the stitching, I just wanted to add that little bit more around the photo. Uh, so the photo is of my daughter and I, our shadows, in one of our morning walks that we've been doing for the last couple of weeks. Um, and I'm really enjoying these moments, um, walking with her, uh, just the chats, the, the chance to talk about stuff. Um, yeah, just appreciating that I have that opportunity with her. She is 21 and recently engaged. Um, so I don't know how much longer I'll be able to go for these walks with her. Um, but I'm treasuring these moments um, with my other two children having already moved away from home. And they're younger, by the way. She is the oldest and she's still here. Anyway, so I'm using the Sawyer Collection um, sticker sheet and um, sort of the title here that I've got is a little bit bigger than the one that 
um, Jackie used in the on her photo um, but I do think it works really well and so does the treasured at the top there so it becomes treasured moments in that title um, with that other sticker there for some journaling. Now I'm copying um, the sort of clusters of embellishments that were around on the page as much as possible and just sort of sticking these little dots um, around at different points similar to what was on the layout that I am scrap lifting. So just getting these placed using a variety of colours. So these dots are from, I think it was the Blossom collection last year, and I have um, used them over and over again, and just again, the colours here worked really nicely with it. So essentially the journaling is along the lines of what I said to you before about going for these walks and enjoying them, um, treasured moments, and yeah, so there we have it. Uh, check out the links below for all the other people that have scrap lifted uh, JQ Crafty and check her blog for the giveaway, uh, her page for the giveaway that she's got that I'll link below as well. Thanks for watching.